Have we made you look yet? Well, we're about to, and it's for multiple reasons. First of all, we have Lex, the very talented Lex, from Made You Look, the YouTube channel. Come on out, Lex. Let everybody see you. This is your Comic-Con live coverage, continuing coverage, and I'm Michael Artsis. Lex, thank you so much for joining us. You're also with NYX Cosmetics. Absolutely. And you've got this great channel on YouTube called Made You Look. Absolutely, thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for being here. We've got uh, Jill, mm -hmm. who's uh, a model, and, and she's being painted by you. So tell me a little bit about what's going on with Jill first. Basically, Jill is going to be Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. She's based out in water-based paint, and then she's shaded all with NYX Cosmetics eyeshadows. She has NYX Cosmetics lipstick on, as well as her whole middle area that's all shaded with eyeshadows. That's what we're going to call that, the little area? The, the little area. It's very specific. It's what everyone calls it. It's the little area. The little area. The little area. Are, are, are you sure you want to stick with little? Well, I guess it's kind of a kind of like a narrow sort of screened area. All right. So, wh uh, what are the techniques you do for for painting bodies? I'm going to let you start painting. Go, lot, go to it. A lot of the techniques I use for bodies is honestly, you always reference the photo of the character. I've been referencing the photo of the character all day long because you want to stay as close as, as you possibly can. And so, what are you doing right now? Right now, I'm adding snake skin to her pretty much straps going up and down the costume because Gamora has that snakeskin pattern within her clothing. All right, and Jill, how do you feel about all this? Do you, do you, do you get painted a lot? Is that something, uh, maybe Pete can move the microphone so we can hear you. Well, I do face painting a lot, but I've never done body painting before, but like, it's not uncomfortable. It's yeah. actually pretty comfy. <laughs> and, and what do you think of Comic-Con? Oh, this is my second year being here, but it's great. I love it. It's so like exciting, and everyone's just looking around, different things. It's awesome. Is it weird not wearing very much but body paint? No. <laughs> now you're a model. You 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 model normally? No, not really. This is actually my first like time really modeling for anything. Okay. But um, yeah, it's actually really comfy. Like, cause you see a lot of other people in like I don't want to say skimpy clothing, but. There's some other She's revealing. <laughs> yeah, there's some other revealing costumes, so I feel pretty comfortable. And are you a geek? Are you into this stuff? Yes. What's your favorite <laughs> comic book or, or character um, or whatever? I would probably say Deadpool's my favorite. Okay. Um, comics, I'm not really into like that much. Okay. But I'm more into video games. All right, cool. What's what video game? Um, Borderlands. That's nice. That's one of my biggest ones right now. I think that the chat rooms just blew up with a, a million marry me offers. Oh my god. <laughs> um, and, and so, uh, what about uh, cosplay? Are you into cosplay? I am. Um, last year I actually, or no, I'm sorry, two years ago I was Ariel and I actually popped up as a meme called Dat Finn. But that was my first time being there and it was awesome. Very nice, very nice. And Lex, uh, what, so how hard is it to paint somebody? You're not painting on a flat canvas. How hard is it? You know, honestly, it's just a matter of taking a flat drawing and bringing it to life. I mean, it can be difficult having a curved canvas as opposed to something flat, but you kind of have to picture it flat in your head. It's sort of a confusing process in a way, but do once you get used to it, you're used to it. Do you like tape out the lines first or do you sketch them out or what do you do? No, for me, actually, I don't sketch anything you prior. Just I, this just, whole thing? I just go for it. I wow. just straight up go for it. Those are pretty straight lines. Thank you. You want to be a doctor and do some operations? Right, exactly. Be a <laughs> surgeon. <laughs> How did you get into this? I actually, I started doing makeup when I was 14 years old. I was bullied really bad in high school for liking the things that I liked, being an artist, doing my drawings, and I stuck with it. I would go home, I would turn myself into characters just to get like my stress relief for the day, and it turned into something that really became a part of my life and who I am. You know, we talk a lot about uh, here at Comic-Con, people can really be who they are, and I think that that's really nice. And we talk, you know, Be Terrific's about all being positive, but we can get serious for a second. We joke around a lot, we had a lot of fun just now, but if we can get serious, you know, there's there's a lot of bullying out there, and I, I think it's so unfair. So, you're, you're obviously, you're a very beautiful young lady. Thank you. Um, you seem like you have your act together, and yet you got bullied for being into, uh, and, and, and shunned and frowned upon for being into, like, art and makeup and that stuff in school? Absolutely. People gave me a hard time. I'm also a type 1 diabetic, and a lot of people did not understand that. A lot of people didn't understand that I like comic books, that I like to, you know, hang out and make myself into characters, because it was very different. I didn't go out. I didn't party. I was always very good in school. I got good grades. I mean, like, I guess I'm kind of like positivity all around all the time, and a lot of people didn't necessarily like that. And Comic-Con is definitely a place where people can feel 
like they can be themselves and feel welcomed and that's what it's all about. I feel like Comic-Con needs to extend it to everyday life though because that's ridiculous. What I don't understand is, is basically what you just said. Like I don't understand how people could look down upon you because of any of these things, specifically or especially, I should say, because of being a type 1 diabetic, um, you didn't bring that upon yourself. That was Correct. something that you were born with mm -hmm. genetically, mm -hmm. and it doesn't really, it doesn't make you, there's nothing wrong with you. It doesn't, it's not a right. bad thing. I mean, it's difficult for you. It's a challenge you have mm -hmm. to deal with, but it's not a bad thing. My, my grandfather was a diabetic. I didn't like him any less. It makes no sense to me. Right. I mean, everyone has their struggles in life, and they just have to overcome them. And, you know, you use your struggles to turn them into strength. And that's one of the things that I like to do is to be able to inspire others and be able to show them that nothing's going to hold you back. Even if someone makes fun of you or picks on you for whatever reason, you're still who you are, and you're who you are for a reason. I, I like that. I like that a lot. I like what you're doing here, and this is all positive, and it definitely makes you look, right? So Made You Look is the YouTube channel. Now, how long does it take to paint her? To paint a full body, it normally takes about four to six hours. On my YouTube channel, I normally do my shoulders and my face, and that can take anywhere between two to four hours as well with filming. And, and when you would go home in high school and, and you would be unhappy and you would paint, uh, what, what characters would you paint back then? Always the Hulk. <laughs> the Hulk? <laughs> Was that so you could Hulk out and you know do some damage? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, so I could just be like in character, it'd be like one of those days where you just don't feel you know like yourself. You just feel picked on, you just feel angry, and you know, the best outlet you can do is use art. So I would always become the Hulk and like, you know, just be this character. And by the time I'm done and looking at my creation, I would just feel so much better. I really like that message though, because a lot of, you know, unfortunately a lot of kids who get bullied turn to uh, uh, things that are negative for them. And, and they, make, they make bad choices for themselves. And here's a positive choice. You use it as an outlet. I really like that. Absolutely. There's so many people that do go down a wrong path and it doesn't have to be that way. I mean, it's very easy to think negative when you're in a rough time in your life, but that doesn't mean that you're not going to get through it. And once you do get through it, it's going to become a strength and you can use that to inspire other people. I think that's a good point. When we're going through it, we think it, it's never going to end. Um, how long have you, uh, uh, well, you grew up in Chicago, right? I grew up in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> and and how, how long have you been living there your whole life? I lived there until I was 10, and then I moved to Arizona for half my life, and now I'm back there, so I know it's very confusing. <laughs> very nice. And, and what's your favorite character you've ever painted on somebody? My favorite character I have ever painted. That's like a really tough question, because every single character that I paint, I put my heart into. So it's kind of like a bunch of different pieces of me. Gamora here is an assassin, so I mean, <laughs> she's definitely rocking it. Um, I think that, you know, what you're doing is great. I, I love it. What, what about uh, painting nude? You know, a lot of people are asking about painting nude. I'm, I'm looking at the feedback. Um, is that more of a challenge? Not really. I mean, you really just have to be comfortable with we are all humans. It's just a human body, and a human body is just an art canvas. You can't look at it in any other type of way. I actually like when, seriously, I like when you do a nude painting because you, especially you can't tell sometimes. Like, Correct. That's what I like. I think it's, I like the trickery of it. Absolutely. You know, I and I appreciate the artwork. Absolutely. When you paint on naked bodies, by the end, like you said, they don't look naked. It looks like they're wearing clothes. And the coolest illusions is when they really do look like they're wearing clothes. And people are like, oh, that's a nice outfit. Just kidding, it's paint. Have you ever painted like a t-shirt on somebody? Absolutely. T-shirts and jerseys are very fun yeah. to do. Jill, uh, have you ever done that? No, you've never, because you've, 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 this is your first time even being painted like this. Exactly. Like, I do more of face painting yeah. rather than, like, clothing or anything like that, but... <laughs> Very cool. All right, and, and what is she wearing from NYX? Now, this is mostly paint, right? It's all based out in water-based um, body paint. From NYX, I shade all of my shading, my, my middle parts, so we're calling it, um, all with NYX Cosmetics eyeshadows. I always feel like it's easiest to shade with eyeshadows because you're going to get that translucent ending effect. And then she also has NYX lipstick on as well as NYX eyeshadow on her lids. What, what are some tips for people who are trying to do this or would like to do this? It, I mean, it, it, you're making it look easy, but it's actually, to me, this looks terrifyingly difficult. <laughs> of course, with any artist starting out, the biggest thing you could do is practice. And you're going to hear that all your life. Oh, practice makes perfect. But it's totally true. I mean, practice will get you a lot further in life, a lot further in your art, and much more than you'll ever learn from anybody else. What are some of the challenges or the most challenging thing you do here? The most challenging thing that I would do is that it does take a very long time to paint people. So sometimes you just have to have that patience. But when you're really into your work and you're really into creating the art that you're creating, you kind of get like in a zone. 
Jill, is this hard for you? I mean, you got to stay still for a long time. Not really. I mean, for the first time, me actually doing like the body painting, like I'm comfortable, like just standing still. I'd want to sit down. <laughs> um, do you use bigger brushes for the arms and stuff? I mean, that little brush would take a long time. I definitely use bigger brushes for like face coats or like shading in the muscles. Um, and then I'll use medium brushes for details and really small brushes for fine details so you can really get that effect. You ever use airbrushing? I really don't airbrush that much. I'm more of a hand painter. I've always drawn and painted growing up and I just transferred that onto a body. All right, thank you guys so much. You were awesome. It's a lot of fun. You guys got to see uh, a lady being painted. That's Jill and Lex, Nick's Cosmetics, and of course, Made You Look on YouTube. You gotta check it out. I'm Michael Arts. We'll be back with a whole lot more live coverage of Comic-Con 2014. Before I let you go, by the way, um, we have a Club Kids from Wowie for each one of you. You could probably paint this if you want, but this is a collector's item and it can totally inspire you. So you're gonna take one of those home each. Thank you guys Thank so, you so much, much for joining us. I hope you had fun being on and uh, and, and doing all this. And, and you guys, you look terrific and you're very, very talented. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Thanks. Guys, we'll be back right after this. Download the Be Terrific app, beterrific.com slash app. It's for Android. It's for Apple, and guess what? It's also for Kindle. We'll be back right after this with more Comic-Con Live continuing coverage.